Hey, hey there, my Tyler Perry Oval fans. It's your girl, Barbie J, here with her two cents about a scene in the upcoming previews of the Oval. And that's that scene with Alan in the jail cell with some man, some young guy, you know. Um, check out this clip, and then we'll jump right in with my two cents. Check it out. My boss is pissed, so he got me here in the cell for you. So he's letting Alan know that his boss is pissed and he got him in the cell for him. So I'm sitting there going, who's his boss? Because when those two detectives were trying to talk to Alan, they were basically saying that they're there, that he has information or evidence for them. And that uh, the vice president, they think is still a vice president, but now he's president. Eli had them talk to him, but. Alan didn't believe them. Alan didn't believe him, and he's yelling at them, take me back to my cell, take me back to my cell. And now, now he's back in this cell, and this guy is in there. So the way this guy sounds, it don't sound like it's Eli who's sending him. Maybe those other two detectives were working with Eli, and they did tell that person, whoever they talking to, they told them to... Um, Maybe you need to come down here and talk to him yourself. I guess talking about come down and talk to Alan. But now Alan's in this cell and this guy is talking about his boss is pissed. So it has to be have something to do with the drugs. That's what I would presume that it has something to do with those drugs that Alan had. But see, Alan actually, if y'all all remember, he started all of this. He was mad at Hunter and he he ordered those drugs for Alonzo to pick up, and he's mad because of what he did to Ellie, his girlfriend Ellie. So now he thought he would get back at the president and lace that the, that cocaine with something, and he said, die, mother effer, die. So that's why now he's scared to talk to those detectives the way he is, because he don't know. He's just now finding out what happened to Hunter. And so... I think that guy is in there to kick his behind. And you know what? It's the same thing we saw on, I don't know if a lot of y'all watch all the Queens men and Madam set it up that some of the two of the dancers would end up in the same cell with El Fuego. Remember El Fuego from Sisters? You know, El Fuego's in this on, he went to college with um Sabrina and all of them and Danny and Andy, I think they all knew him. Anyway, they put him in a cell with El Fuego and they was going to beat him up. So now here this is. I think they did that on the have and the have nots as well. Put some guy in the prison cell with somebody or a female in the prison cell with somebody to fight them. So as we see here, Tyler Perry is recycling his scenes. And again, we know he does it a lot. He tries to spread it over the, th the show's. But we, we, we not dumb. We know what's happening. But anyway, I think that's what it is. I think it has to do with the drug dealers. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all are thinking. But it, it has to have something to do with those drugs and that box. That box that he's telling um, Dale to get from his house and hold it for him and protect it and stuff. But I thought he was going to the pharmacy to meet with somebody. When he got arrested, I thought he was going to the pharmacy to meet with them to bring the drugs back. So what happened? Yeah, yeah, you know, wasn't that his purpose of being at the pharmacy to bring the drugs back to these guys when he got arrested? So how is this box of whatever in his apartment that he's telling Dale to watch out for and protect? What could that be? And it could only be the drugs. But I think Tyler Perry done forgot again something he said or something he did. Y'all remember that money in the Oval with that money that Barry had or found from, you know, and, and one minute they used all the money to spend it on something and the next minute that box was filled up with money again. Yeah, no, I'm just like, what is going on? But anyway... Y'all let me know what y'all think about that scene down in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to my channel. This channel here, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I will see you all in the next video. It's your girl, Barbie J, saying peace.